Hey folks, Quillithine here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play the Kerbal Space Program. And last time we did, I forgot to open this up, complete some pretty awesome things. We completed our mission to explore Ike. We transmitted scientific data from the surface of Ike, which apparently wasn't worth a whole lot for us. All right, that's kind of annoying. And I Ike, oh, these were all um, sub points of the same contract. So we actually got a lot of money for this contract because it was half a million for the whole completion and then some money for each little step along the way, which is good. So we have freed up another one. Build a surface outpost on Eve. Now, correctly, correct me if I'm wrong, doesn't Eve tend to set things on fire? I don't know if I want to do that one quite yet. Surface outpost on Duna is interesting proposal. It's worth quite a bit of money. Um, this one does not require the mining facilities. It'd be fun to do that. Another plant flag. It's going to be forever because before we get another transfer window over there. So I'm not sure we're going to do that. What I think I'm tempted to do, I think we're going to be wrapping up this particular Let's Play um, as I keep saying, I want to start over with um, the completely revamped tech tree that comes with SETI. Uh, some either combination of remote tech or um, antenna range, some sort of life support module, some sort of colony habitat stuff, etc, etc, etc. And I really want to do that. I still have tons I want to do in the game, but I really want to do it in that context going forward and uh, that. But I, I'm tempted. To complete these two missions here first these tourism missions this is from a, tur a tourism pack which i haven't really had a chance to explore because i did the first one and then there wasn't any of it for a while um the request here is to bring four tourists over the north pole we need to have a pilot we need four passengers on board uh we need to have reached suborbital trajectory trajectory and we have to have, have gone I guess over the North Pole. It doesn't specify that we have to be suborbital over the North Pole, just that we do, and then we have to recover people. And we also have a mission for four tourists to low Kerbin orbit. Now these are four separate people, could be a, four, a different flight. Um, in fact, they might be the test flight. They do want, okay, hold on. Oh, they, they actually want orbit. They don't want suborbital. We've got to bring these four people into orbit and they got to stay there for at least an hour. So those are very different sort of missions. I was thinking we could make a cool sort of space plane or something like this. Um, this is fine. We could actually technically enter orbit with these four passengers. It's fine. They have to at least reach suborbital at some point, and that's it. They can hit orbit. It's okay. So it's interesting to consider building a ship that can carry that many people. Actually, I suppose it's not that difficult at all, is it? Because the hitchhiker module is nicely sized for four people. Dun, 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 dun. If we go and we um, we start a new vessel, and we just put um, command pod, well, as I said, command pod and then hitchhiker module. Technically, they're different sizes, um, but we only need space for one. It's not a bad play way to get some extra experience, maybe for some of our other kerbals. But if we got that, and then um, the this adapter, and then is it under here? I think it's under this category, but hitchhiker module. Nice to search. Put that down there. There we go. And all we have to do is build something that can sort of vaguely control people in the right way to get that done which is fine um i was gonna say are there structural elements and aerodynamics that might have been made made this better as a space plane i don't know anyway this is going to be fine uh, obviously it'll need a decent number of shoots actually we want uh radial mounted parachutes and we could like just put a foursome on there like that Right, that'll probably manage to land this perfectly softly. I suppose we could test first, but yeah, testing for suckers. Um, and then, uh, is this the drogue? Yeah. Oh, that's the big drogue. Where's the... There's another... There's a drogue that'll fit on that, won't there? There it is. No. I'm confused. Really? Oh, is there not a drogue-sized one for this? Ah, oh, that's possibly true. Anyway, we won't need anything over there then. Um, and yeah, that's it. As long as it can manage like 4,000 dV, then that's going to be good for the suborbital flight. I suppose for the orbital flight, we'll want maybe a little bit more than that just to make sure we can get around. So let's assume we've got... Um, this is going to be pretty easy to design. Like the decoupler over here. All right, this is what we land with. Tell you what, just to be sure... Let's go ahead and put a big heat shield underneath there. That'll be lovely. Um, and maybe, just to make sure nothing terrible happens, nothing too terrible anyway, we'll get um, solar panels there, and 
just a nice even number of these batteries here. This is all coming back, so we're going to get our money back for all those bits and pieces. So just a little bit of a backup there. Um, I wonder if we want a reaction wheel on this level. Just to help keep that, um, that shield down there. You know what? I'm going to feel better if we do that. Not the small one. We want the advanced one. There we go. That way it'll be easy for us to say lock retrograde on a re-entry and make sure, because I'm not sure this is going to be aerodynamically stable for the bottom end to stay the bottom end the whole time. But with this, we'll have plenty of ability to modify our pitch. Um, and then we need a fuel tank. I wonder if we can just do it in like, in one go. Right, if we grab that, not the mainsail, but the skipper engine. Oh, so close, look at that. 3,900 Delta V. I would like a little bit more than that, especially if we're going to be launching over like a polar route or something like that. Um, we want a little bit more. Our thrust weight is not that high, so we might actually just be able to make up for it with uh, some SRBs. SRBs don't give you a lot of Delta V, though. Um, I think what I'll do is just just cheap out a little bit. Um, we're going to grab radial decouplers. Normally, I'm going to want them, say, on this side. Let's bring down the symmetry. Um, let's make sure the snapping is there. And just put them there, and just grab the T800 tanks, like so. I guess we got to bring these down a little bit lower. But I'm willing to bet this will give us just enough Delta V. I might be wrong. Um, we'll use the swivel engines for safety. And then... Fuel transfer into there, and make sure that our staging is correct. All the engines go on, then we drop those off. That'll put us at about 14 or 4,400 delta V. It's not a huge margin for safety there. 4,800, which should be more than plentiful. Let's go ahead and put in. Um, let's put in a strut connector over there. Put in the nose cone. Should we make it look cool? Use the Type Bs over here. Grab the rotate tool. Hotkey for that is three. Move it in. There we go. Looks cool. And then the other thing, I've got one of my mods. Again, check the description box down below for my updated list. And just hit U on there and U on there just to get it nicely tucked in. Just looks better. 4800 Delta V should be overkill for getting into orbit, assuming we get a half decent um, gravity turn. And should be able to bring us home as well. There we go. This is our little touristy ship that can hold four, um, four tourists. Tourism. Um, this is, uh, we'll call it the 4.8 KDV. Four spot. And we've got a pilot, which is good. We will save this design. Launch. When we get on the launch pad, we should get prompted to load in some tourists. Now, we have to make sure we've got the right tourists. If we bring half the tourists from one of the missions and half the tourists from the other, we won't complete either one. So let's assume this is our polar route. All right, this is the one that wants to go over the North Pole. Oh, oh, how handy. There we go. There we go. Cool. Okay, that's very handy. So they've all been loaded in there. Great. We don't need the rover autopilot. Um, we want to launch northwards, which probably means I'll actually rotate at some point because where these are. So, SAS turn on, full throttle. And um, north is down here. So basically be pitching towards us, but I will do the rotation shortly after launch. In fact, let's go now. Good, let me do this. I'm gonna bring the north to my right so that everything else about what I do is just totally normal. There we go, well, I'll be hitting the D key. So launching in this direction, not as efficient the gravity roll. Not as efficient as launching east, just because you don't get a kickstart from the planet, but it should be sufficient for this. I don't even have to go into orbit for these guys. Okay, lock yourself to prograde and call that good. I don't have any fins on this. Actually, that was probably a mistake. It's short enough that the drag shouldn't be crippling, but I still should have put some fins on there. Waypoint manager, why don't you go ahead and uh, mark me the North Pole for the tourist route? Um, should that not be over there somewhere? Should I not be able to see it? Tell me I'm going north. I am. Oh, there it is. Yeah, good. Through the ground. Perfectly fine. Separate. Oh, I didn't put parachutes on there. There's some wasted money. Oops. I have started a checklist that I'm supposed to follow when I construct, but I'm trying to rush a bit too much here. 
I'm going to go ahead and just try to line us up a little bit more on the actual north ball. There he is. And the SAS is going to try to keep me locked towards prograde, generally speaking, so I'll just give it a couple of nudges over here, just to be on that northern line as much as possible. Northern line, not northern lion. There we are. Okay, we're probably a little low here, so let me go and fight my own SAS settings just to go and try to bring up the apoapsis time a wee bit. In fact, let me go into normal SAS mode, or kill rot, either one, exactly the same. There we go. Whoa, no, 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 no. I did go a little too far, and we are getting some drag effects. I guess we're only at 20k. Okay, 35 seconds to apo. That's not too bad. We're back on the correct line here, which makes me happy. Apoapsis time is rising which I'm pretty happy with. Good. And now I think I can probably be very happy just locking to prograde some more. Okay, time to absolute Apo is actually going up still, which is okay. It might be a little high. We might be able to roll down a little bit more, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and say, you know what, we can be a little bit closer to the horizon at this point. Because it is climbing quite quickly. Good amount of fuel left. And we don't actually have to get into orbit. We do would like to get into something flat enough to... Ins Whoa! Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's true. As soon as this changed to orbit mode... <laughs> we're, uh... Oh, that's probably why our nose wasn't where it is. I I'm wondering if when we were fighting prograde... No, no, we're still using the surface prograde. But now we have to change this because... Surface mode versus orbit is slightly different because of the uh, the rotation. So I'm trying to pull it back down to true north over here because we can see our target on the nav ball, which I don't think I realized. That's very handy. Very handy. Whoa! Apoapsis is way too high! We're running low on fuel. Are we going to pass over our target? Well, we are, yeah. We don't actually need to go orbital for these guys. We are not quite going to pull it off. We want to head... Where are we? Over here. So we actually, because of rotational effects, we need to make sure we're a little further left. What's the best way to do this and not die? Well, I suppose, once we're high enough... There, we're about to break the atmosphere line anyway. I could literally... Aim... This way, and burn. Now, what is this going to respond to? That's, that's normal correction. Good, lock to normal. Might be a little wackly because there's no, there's no, there's no real air left. And burn. Boom. Now we are aligned. Still have a little bit of fuel left in case we have to do any more emergency maneuvers. Now I'm hoping this counts. Let's face prograde. Uh, we have to be a little careful. Well, we do have lots of batteries. I like overkilled batteries. We have a little bit in the way of solar panels. Although we don't have any sun right here, so it doesn't matter. Uh, turn off the smart ass at this point. We don't care about anything. I can go and fast forward a bit. So, I'm hoping that simply passing over the spot is what they're looking for. Okay, so that's not the mission we have. It's the other one. There we go. North Pole. Crew, we got a pilot. We got a four passengers. We have suborbital trajectory. North Pole. All we have to do is pass over the North Pole. I'm hoping passing over it is indeed all we need to do. Okay, well, I guess there's nothing to do with the fast forward at this point. What? Oh, God. I was like, why do I have so much stuff? But it was on the other side. Come on, baby. Oh, the Aurora. How nice is that? I was going to say, I bet you we can even do some science here. Quick EVA report? Sure! Our passengers are going to freak out a bit, but that's okay. Let me rotate so that our door... It's at the top, and there it is. Oh! Oh, I'm back over shores. I'll, I'll be crossing Tundra again soon, though. Face vaguely prograde. Power should still be more than fine, indeed. Oh, and our solar panels are working. That's the advantage of being over the, the north here. We're not likely to get eclipsed. Ice caps. Oh, that's a slightly... Oh, ice caps are different from Tundra. Report. Keep. 
board. My poor passengers! Like, what are you doing? It's like, I just have to step outside for a moment. It's fine, guys. Don't even worry about it. Everything is fine. Okay. Are we going to pass over the North Pole to their satisfaction? I hope so. We could burn a little anti-normal. Apparently we overkilled it last time. It's hard to tell because it depends on your angle. And the nav ball is not particularly clear in this because we're basically just going to pass over it yet. It looks like maybe even touch a shift a little bit more. And it looks to me like that will be a better route. It's hard to tell. Nav ball is not particularly helpful here either. And we're actually facing in this direction. I don't know. If that doesn't count, I don't know what will. Well, unless they want to be on the ground, but they didn't they didn't say that. Bring the tourists to the waypoint. They say over the North Pole. I'm hoping this is not too high. I wonder if there's something down there. It might be like a little stick or something. They've got these little ETA to the North Pole. Well, one we're still pretty far. We are passing over it. Ship's not under acceleration. Oh, I don't think it counted. Oh no. Do we have to land at the North Pole? Or am I just too high? Oh no, you guys. Bring four tourists over the North Pole. I did! It was right there! Look! I passed over it! On a suborbital trajectory. Trajectory. Well, poop. Hatch is obstructed. No, it's not. Here It's not obstructed. That keeps happening. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on here. All right, well, let's time warp enough to re-enter here. Ah, oh, I'm so sad. We can run the other tourist mission. The other tourist doesn't have any, like, weird specifics about where we go. Oh, um, I suppose I can burn off the rest of my fuel. Hey, maybe I should have done it before. I shouldn't have gone so high, maybe. Burn off the rest of our fuel, because we may as well. Also, there should have been more um, parachutes on all the things. If I'm going suborbital, I think there could even be parachutes on here. Okay, um, detach. We still have power and solar panels. Keep facing roughly retrograde. Actually, we'll stay locked on the retrograde in surface mode here, which should minimize. Which should be exactly what we're looking for to... Um, To do what we want. It's not... Retrograde in surface mode. There we go. Okay. Physics acceleration is on. We should... We will get some heating effects. We do have the heating core. Ah! I'm so disappointed. What do we need to do? Land there? It doesn't say that. I'll check it again when we're at our base. Okay. We're getting quite low while still on fire. We have a lot more weight. How's the ablator? Even the ablator is only taking like 13 points of damage out of 800. That's nothing. We don't, definitely don't need a heat shield here, but... You know what? Let's keep our tourists comfortable. Make sure that their pod doesn't get too hot. I don't know what... Uh, there we go. True altitude. Alright, let's go ahead and pop the chutes now. Take longer to land. But better safe than sorry. Max acceleration. And there's the full deployment. And I'll try to kill the uh, the physics warp right before we land. Okay, now we are going to land with over 6 meters per second acceleration. I'm hoping that this is fine. Maybe I should put some landing gear on there. That's... Okay, we didn't kill anyone. I'll accept the fact that we're not making any money off that mission. 
I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed. Hmm. Let me check the text. You do have a lot of a lot of science kicking around. Okay. Bring four tourists. They would like to see a specific site. Bring four tourists high above the North Pole. I did. It didn't count it as a success. They flew high over the North Pole. Alright, I'm going to try the same mission. Try the same mission. Come on, load. So here's what we're going to do. Tourism. This one here. Jebediah. Oh, apparently double-clicking it loads it. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, the other mission is easy. Just get into orbit, wait an hour, come back down. It's not interesting. Let's learn something together. All right. Load the North Pole tourists. Good. SAS, turn on. Full throttle. Oh, yeah, I still forgot the parachutes. Hang on. Let, let's put those on before we go. The whole point of the tourism thing is to make some money, so... I probably could trim some of the fuel in here, too. We don't need it all. Um, that's the drogue one. There we go. Regular radial mounted. Uh, one parachute should be fine for these guys. And let me put on... That and the drogues for this bit over here. The drogues will deploy first. Hopefully that will be successful. So now it's a $31,000 ship, but we are recovering some of it. Hmm. All right, launch time. So I'm gonna also try not to make the mistake and go so high. So North Pole tourist, load. SAS turn on, full throttle, go. Rotate. And gravity turn. Okay, and locked prograde. Oh, I forgot the fins again. I mean, I don't need them. It's again, it's short enough and it's got enough gimbling that it seems to do perfectly fine. Now we need to just do a token leaving of the atmosphere, and that's about it. Okay, you are turning way too much too fast. Start my gravity turn a little too soon. Oop. On the verge of losing control there for a second. There we go. We're okay. Come on. Stay with me. Yeah, fins would make this infinitely more stable. Separate out. Okay. Last flight was perfect because I was actually taking my time. Now I'm pissed off and impatient because I flew over the goddamn North Pole and no one can tell me that I didn't. So, if I'm going to be impatient like this, I guess I really do need the winglets. Like so. Um, save. Go. Also, I gravity turned a little fast. Normally, I wait until I'm going 100 meters per second, or I'm at least a kilometer up. Whatever comes first. <sighs> Repeat, go, load passengers, SAS, go. And turn this way so that I can just use my D key for my gravity turn, which is what I'm used to. And everything on the nav ball will look the way I normally expect it to. Also, because of where the um, boosters are, they'll separate with a little less chance of hitting my main core. Okay, let's go ahead. Get that going, so we're about 10 degrees over right around the right speed. Keep that there. Now lock on prograde. Oops, nice little bit of lag as I'm trying to click the button. That's always nice. I clicked the button and there was a, just a brief hiccup in the frame rate. Alright, let's... Well, it, does, it is trying to turn over a lot faster than I look for. Let's break that off. A lot more stability though. 
And I think because the earth is turning under me, that's why it's, I sort of have to chase it. It's kind of interesting. Nearly on the ball. Again, it's one to gravity turn a little bit harder and faster than I'm looking for. But it's not too bad. Still a little much there, buddy. Let's go to stability assist instead of uh, prograde chasing. Just lock me on the 45 degree for a little bit longer. Let that time to apoapsis climb a bit more. Good stuff. Okay. I'm happy about this. Heading straight north. Time to Apo is climbing. We'll try not to overkill it as much. And if at all possible, let's see if we can land at the North Pole. A will be lower, which might have been the key. I don't know. Maybe we're just way too high. Maybe part of it is they don't want to be in space when they're over the North Pole. They just want to be in the atmosphere. That might have been it. They want to be high over the North Pole by the description. Maybe they want to be atmospheric at the North Pole. Well, we still have a long way to go. And, okay, I can definitely bring that down there. And, yeah, that's a little bit skewed. Flatten it out. Okay. And I'll just bring it a little higher. And just try to bring us a little closer due north here. All right, let's kill that. Stay facing roughly prograde, just for aerodynamic reasons, but the engines are off. We are still in the atmosphere, so we'll bleed off a little bit of our apoapsis, although we're pretty high and it's pretty thin at this point. When we get a little bit closer to the top, that's when I will burn prograde to flatten out our orbit, and we're going to try to land right near the North Pole. Fun times! All right, let's do a little physics warping. Although, I should keep an eye on things, make sure this thing isn't going to shake itself apart. No, it's pretty stable. Okay, we are in space, approaching our apoapsis. We are facing our prograde, and we will have to do a little bit of normal burn. Well, why don't I burn a little normal now? Just drag this over to the left right before our apoapsis. Good, that looks better. Face prograde again. 30 seconds away. See, that's the one thing I like about the smart ass is it doesn't tend to overshoot things as much because it just does it uses its PID a little bit more intelligently when it's aiming for something, so just slightly smarter. Okay, basically there. We're not going to try to circularize our orbit. We're just trying to flatten it out enough so that we'll get to the North Pole. Fly over it kind of low. Maybe even land near it. We have to remember, oh, there's going to be a lot of atmospheric effects. Once we dump, drop back into the atmosphere, we'll be breaking pretty fast. So we want to overshoot it a fair bit. Let's try something like that. And honestly, we'll still have some fuel in the tank. Well, not much. But we might be able to fight some of these effects if it turns out we're going to fall a little short. Looks to me like we're lined up pretty well. I wonder if there's this uh, waypoint actually is thinking of a specific altitude. It might be. Which might mean we want to actually run right through it. More like that. Technically, this is orbital. But we have completed the first part of the contract already. Because they went suborbital for a while, and of course they'll be suborbital in a second. This just means like you don't actually have to establish a full orbit. But in theory, we might be passing through the sweet spot now. So let's let's see what happens. We are going to re-enter the atmosphere soon, which will blow off some of our speed. But not quite yet. 76k. And you know what I'll do? I'm going to face myself retrograde 
right around here. We'll hit the brakes maybe. Sure. Keep that uh, board. Oh shit. Um, are we in the atmosphere? No. Why is the thing going all so crazy? Uh, quickly, quickly, quickly. Where's our hatch? Above. Down, 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 down. Up, 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 up. Nice. Thank you for lagging. I appreciate that. Ah, oh, my god. So far away, I'm not getting a proper context as to my position here. Back, back, back. Forward, forward, forward before we get in the atmosphere, please. Grab. Oops. Now my passengers are really concerned. Down and board. Okay, everything is fine. Just before we enter the atmosphere. Woo! I wasn't panicking. Were you panicking? I wasn't panicking. Okay. We are now technically atmospheric. Oh! Location North Pole counted. So that's it. They just want to be in the atmosphere when we went above the North Pole. They want to be probably high atmosphere. It's very unspecifical. Do not like. Okay. We are retrograde. Let's go ahead and burn all of our fuel. Just to accelerate a fire landing. Looks pretty. We've never technically EVA'd here. Um, I like to generally go prograde to detach. Or some sort of swinging motion like this. Oh, oh, I almost F that. Oh no, that's okay. And then turn retrograde for the actual re-entry. And hope that we're not going to smash into one another. No, it looks like we're going to be fine. Good on power, so we'll be able to hold that without difficulty. We'll go ahead and do some physics warping. Those parachutes did activate, so that should be fine. Hello, moon. Wait, that's no moon. Aurora Borealis. Be nice if we didn't land in the water. I'm sure it's pretty frigid. Look at that. The planet looks great with these mods. I gotta say. And I'm happy that mission succeeded. I was gonna be kind of frustrated if it didn't. So, I think... Yeah, I think what we might do, you guys... Well, there's a couple of possibilities. I suppose we could keep going through all the tourist stuff and get to the point where we're building a giant tourist casino. Um, let's slow that down, because apparently I'm getting heat effects on the batteries. That's a big memory leak, right? So what do I hit? F10? Hide that. We might blow off the batteries, but we can live without them. How come we didn't get that last time? Because I'm sure we didn't. There goes the batteries. Well, at least a battery. Yeah, how odd. A little worrisome, but... Not crippling. Didn't blow up all our chutes. Okay, let's go back to physics warping until we get a little bit closer to the surface. Just in the interest of keeping this a bit short. So yeah, I very I think I think next time we are gonna be we're gonna be trying all the crazy like multi realism mod things. Oh, I can properly turn off the SAS at this point, that's okay. And let's fully deploy the chutes. Cloud layer. Looks like just really crazy amounts of wind over here. There we go. Still 350 meters. Yeah, actually, it is just frosty here. Look at that. Very cool. And again, I'll try to stop the physics warp right before we land. Just in case it leads to any more weirdness. A little slower than last time, because I guess we don't have the weight of that extra battery. We will recover this vessel. Please? Yes, there we go. Didn't take the first time. And complete that quest, which is giving us a decent amount of money. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward, because I, what I want to play is not just the sort of antenna stuff and life support stuff, but I want to play with the Kerbal attachment system, the Kerbal inventory system, and which all of it is just going to dramatically change the way the game plays. There you go. Stage recovered. Stage recovered. Stage destroyed. Wait. How, how did I not complete the mission? We did everything. Location. Bring the tourists to the waypoint. Maybe they did actually want to land right on it. Screw it! Screw it! This save is going to be gone. We are going to be starting a new one. I might kickstart with a little extra money and science, just so we don't have to grind all the science on the uh, the ground here. Or I might do some of that anyway and just do it off screen. We'll see how it goes. But uh, stay tuned next time. We are going to have a dramatically revamped Kerbal experience. 
Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.